Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Venus in Virgo going through an opposition with Saturn and Pisces. Venus is one of these signs in this particular sign where it's going down to hell. Okay, let's be honest, it's getting ready and hell in this instance looks like diving into the hypercriticism that you have, not just on your physical body and on the negative thoughts that you may or may not have and the wisdom that you're sitting on top of that you do or you do not share because you're observing being that and you're staying still in the observation of oh this is me this is my programming this is my conditioning this is my conditioning from a familiar standpoint in the earthly physical realms and this is my conditioning from a subconscious standpoint on lives multiple lives that I've had so hit the thumbs up and the like button early this is your astro shaman inspiring brilliance Okay, with alcohol practices and spiritual accountability, and we're doing that in our membership. We meet every first and third Sunday. We're right now going through dream work classes and how to dream in a way where you can reinvite lucidity in your dreams and you can use your dreams to master, promote, and essentially manifest your physical reality in the external, but from that internal. This is a very this is a specialty of mine as a past life Pisces. And other than that, all right, we're also offer more things so check that out if you want a one-on-one -on -one read with me it's always available this is the venus opposite saturn transit okay venus uh, opposition with saturn is the kind of thing where your relationships with money and financial security and the excessive need and desire to accumulate wealth and generate assets and again um certain monies that allow you to feel like all right i'm safe i feel stable you may be going through tremendous frustrations um this may be frustrations on the mental emotional scale and you have to really create a relationship with your emotions and with your mind and understand who is directing who in this particular instance and so with this being said, it's happening at 17 degrees, and this is the degree of Leo, and it's really something where you might want to be seen, you might want to be known for your knowledge and how you use your knowledge to courageously promote and push out in the earthly realms. Okay, well, here's what I learned, and here's the product that I have needed to be courageous and brave to produce, to speak about, rather than to stop looking at and observing my wisdom. And it's like your wisdom, when not shared, is pretty much obsolete and futile and ultimately becomes your cage it becomes your prison because without sharing that information knowledge it never gets challenged and this is a part of the challenge with this venus opposition okay venus opposite saturn venus is in virgo saturn is in pisces and now what happens and with this as well is in vedic simultaneously this is venus in leo or this is saturn in aquarius and so this opposition is happening at 23 degrees in that instance which equates to divorce it equates to electric shocks and changes in your current reality and this electric change and shock it will give you and put you through a karmic burning a karmic cleansing okay of the shell and of the desire to start a lasting and fruitful relationship a lasting and fruitful romance now that romance needs to ultimately one start with yourself and you need to ultimately be willing to give to others externally what you really want to give to yourself and it's going to ultimately further attract it from the external to the internal right and so this is something that uh, we need to understand up front with Venus opposite. Now, other things that are happening with this is your financial security in this instance with this transit of uh, Venus and Virgo needs to be earned via purpose. It needs to be earned because you are finding meaning in what you are generating as for an income. And if you do not find meaning in this, you're going to feel tormented. And this meaning, you need to understand this opposition of Venus opposite Saturn is finding meaning right now through uh, essentially disciplining and also relinquishing the goals of your parents because your parents had goals when they were raising you and some parts of their mindset was really immature it wasn't structured it wasn't disciplined for the long term on something that was fulfilling for their spirit something that also felt more dharma based more purpose driven rather than well this is their psychological program on what it means to be successful what it means to 
you know, attract, but also go ahead and get it, but also let go of surrender, okay? What parts of this fantasy of mine did I never pursue? Because Dharma wasn't a thing in my culture. No one cared about, you know, liberating the soul. No one cared about earning finances and generating wealth and creating a home environment uh, or, you know, supplying food and clothes because it was aligned with our purpose rather than it was a necessity or felt like a necessity. And it's like moving beyond the lower chakra realms. I have a red spider video that you might be able to check out on my channel and it'll help you understand. I have a, also have a red dragon video on my channel. Type Pernell Bobby red dragon or Pernell Bobby red spider spiritual meaning. Either one of those and it'll help you understand how did our, you know, parents act immaturely aka they didn't decide to take their fate into their own hands and they instead bought the societal projections of this is what it means to be successful so what you're going to be needing to do during this transit of venus and virgo um which also has mercury and virgo mercury and retro you're going back to mercury and leo so we have to understand it as well uh our our, our physical body right now we need to make sure we keep our gut clean we need to make sure we are fasting during this time to gain clarity in the mind because we gain clarity in the gut. And those two things will help you understand, here's what I need to mature with. Here's these emotional and mental frustrations. That at the end of the day, if I tame them, I'm going to find meaning in this difficult path on these difficulties that I'm having with my finances. With the amount of money that is going out, I understand I am actually in the process of receiving that much more financial abundance on the inside which will ultimately repeat and regurgitate tremendous financial abundance on the outside and so a lot of this is happening in isolation all this happening by really getting clean and clear on your spiritual routines in the physical earthly mundane world it's like are you meditating are you reading books are you being intentional on the books you are reading are you being intentional with the meditations you are having are you stepping outside of your body while still grounding your body and going further and farther into alternate realms where you essentially connect with your purpose, your dharma, the reason for your existence, and you begin to earn your income and assets and generate wealth from that outlook. Okay, and with and during this time frame, you're going to find yourself going through critical self analysis on your self worth. And are you valuing yourself based off of how you feel about yourself, how you would like to feel about yourself? Or are you valuing yourself based off of how your parents treated you, how your guardians maimed and tamed you, disciplined and restricted you, made you feel like you were suffocating? Okay, um, there's a freedom that is desired right now. And it's about relinquishing the control of how from the stimmings of your childhood, you critically judged yourself, all right? You critically judged yourself so hard where you didn't really pursue the career, the vocation, and adopt the maturity that essentially was necessary and required. And at the end of the day, um, this will start to allow you to produce assets and resources during this blending of opposite energies which are one and the same taking the earthly and the ethereal realms and bringing them together to create something magnificent and worthy of existing worthy of this difficult trial and error with your finances okay so in this process what i'm really understanding is you need to learn to release your money you have to let the flow of currency flow if you are trying to hold on to your money so tightly you're going to realize that nothing new has space to come in nor nothing better and something better wants to come into you from a financial standpoint but you got to release those funds and a lot of this will happen by you taking on a mentor taking on a guru because this is what virgo likes to do virgo and venus it likes to adopt who is going to become my master? Who is going to show me the way that I can't see because I'm still being governed by a voice in my head which is not aligned with my direction and purpose in life? This is time to be intentional with that guru as well. Don't, don't take on somebody to teach you who is out of alignment with the where you want to go, where you feel like it is difficult to get there without some external support. Go in that direction and get that mentor in, in alignment, okay? Um, 
And this is what I have for you on this Venus opposition to Saturn. Hit the thumbs up and the likes button, ladies and gentlemen. If you want a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, this is a transit, but I can help you understand this within your personal natal chart. And as well, if you want to work longer term between 12 weeks to 24 weeks, I'm offering a one-on-one -on -one mentorship in a shamanic rite. And there's a rite of passage, all right, to dive deeper into your soul and to ultimately become the shaman, become the one who communicates with animals, other realms, musics, you know, harm, the harmonics of literal existence, being able to see the beauty in everything all around you and not get caught in the negative criticism, but focus on the positive enthusiasm of what is possible. All right. So if you're interested in that, there's an application. You could check that out. There's nothing you can buy right away. You can't just work with me like you can't just work with me without applying. There's four to six steps. And I do that because this is a very karmic contract type thing. You need to be called. You need to be drawn to want to work together with me, understanding that like during this winter season, I love doing this going into the winter seasons because it's like I'm the most connected with God. I'm the most connected with my meditations. I'm way more secluded away from society and doing a lot more public work. So I'm getting ready to disappear. And if you're in that process, you feel like I'm getting ready to disappear too. I want to work with somebody in a mentorship type scenario along the lines of shamanism, elemental magic, black and white magic. You could check out the thing. It's an application down below. You'll be able to see the PDF when you apply. Mm, that said, this is your Astro Shaman Prino Bobby inspiring brilliance. Actually, hit that thumbs up and likes button every first and third Sunday. We are meeting in our membership. You could check that out where that spiritual accountability happens. We're doing breath work, we're doing dream work, we're doing numerology, we're doing Qigong, we're doing Tai Chi. And if you struggle with your spiritual practices, which Venus and Virgo want you to focus on your spiritual practices so that you can exchange them for your addictions, all right? It's one of the main things that Venus and Virgo wants in this opposition to Saturn and Pisces saying, are you disciplined right now in your spiritual well-being and your spiritual ascension and the isolation to balance out the physical world and ethereal world and the demands of both, right? Society is demanding something from you, but so is your soul is demanding something from you as well. So do check that out. And that said, I love you. I thank you for being here, for hitting that thumbs up. I will see you soon. Any individual readings that you want to get, come and check your boy out. Love you. My website has all the information. Check out our email list and I'm sending out everything with remedies involved on that email list. And so that's something you'll see as well in the chat. Ciao, ciao, ciao.